Hello and welcome. I've done a bit of a trade. I do a lot of trading. There's not a lot of money here. Uh, but my two trades today are this little pillar drill. Been sat outside in a garage for a long time. And this bush cutter. Um, quite a nice little machine, this. What I like about it is the tiny engine. So I'm hoping that the engine works because uh, if nothing else works or it's broken or I don't have a use for it as it is, I have a number of applications for that small engine. But it, it, it actually might have a use like it is. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is, is see if this works. And oh, wow, that just looks like new in there. Maybe uh, maybe we'll get lucky and it's just got some kind of uh, surface rust. So the first thing we'll do is uh, see if it works. Okay, now we have uh, we have a big drill press there, but this is uh, useful for benches. Um, or maybe even for mobile, and it'd certainly be useful to clean it up and keep it in case of uh, failure. Uh, but also, this one will run off of my small generator, and um, that one might might be a bit much. So uh, yeah, let's set to and clean it up. We have to resurrect the parts cleaner, not something that um, I find myself needing too often. Unfortunately.
Okay, well that's it dismantled and all the parts cleaned. Hasn't taken long, 40 minutes. We're not doing a full restoration on this. So we're just uh, putting it back into service. And as you can see from what surrounds me, if there was a day in my life where I was fussy and uh, particular about tidiness and cleanliness, that day has long since gone. Here, sometimes, uh, and it's not applicable at the moment, I'm still recovering from uh, back surgery, so these light jobs uh, are just what I need because this time of the year I should be out working in the forest and trying to earn some money. So these are, are good little jobs. But uh, yeah, what I was going to say was uh, the days of being fussy and clean and have I ever been like that? Mm. No, not so much. So one of my I've got to think of his name now. Hmm. One of the most amazing uh, wood shops I've ever seen. His name will come to me. And um, he's, he's got a YouTube channel. In fact, he did a, he did a full tour of his, his wood shop. Probably the finest wood shop I've ever seen in my life. But man, did he have a lot of time on his hands. I mean... You know, his business was obviously successful and he had many employees and then as time went on, that's not how he started. I happen to know he started in Fleetwood. I happen to know he started in a Cadillac Fleetwood. Right, so his name is uh, Fleetwood. <sighs> Fleetwood shop, Fleetwood's... Don't know. Anyhow, he tells a story. He started a Cadillac Fleetwood and uh, put all his tools in there and then he worked up to a really nice business and uh, a very fine shop. And that's probably not because he had a particularly good business head, although I suspect he, he, he got one pretty quick, but because he had the skills in his hands. Anyway, his shop, Fleetwood's shop. I mean, it's just... It's just the most amazing thing I've ever seen, but uh, I don't have... I don't have that kind of time on my hands. And therefore I'm bouncing from one job to another and uh, when I'm not working I'm thinking about working and when I haven't got a project on the go then I find one there that's come together very nicely okay now you you big lump but Hearing these about parts, it is extremely difficult to find uh, somebody that needs my particular skill set unless they know it's, it's just difficult. People here, they don't have a lot of money and um, they're quite, oh, they live relatively simple lives. Um, so it's taking much longer than I could possibly imagine to get where I'm going. So. Bartering and trading. So, uh, growing up, obviously, you you hear a lot about bartering and trading and this kind of stuff, and you imagine what it could be like, but never did I think for one moment I'd be in a place where bartering and trading is uh, so readily accepted by the locals from me. I can pretty much... With the exception of the essentials, the electric bill, fuel for all the machinery and uh, under the necessary taxes, I can pretty much barter for most things. I still have to earn enough money to pay the bills, but um, sometimes when there's no money and somebody needs something, I can barter, trade or exchange. And things like this, it's really helped me get more machinery and stuff that I need um, for the business which in turn then helps me earn enough money just to keep my head above water and uh, it's it's difficult and hard that's for sure
five speed drill press. In exchange for a little bit of work. Very nice backup. So this is my big one. Um, yeah. It's a working tool. Does what it does, but uh, as you can see, that has to stay there. It doesn't go anywhere. But this, I can now put up on a bench. I can move this around to different workshops. And sometimes where it's necessary is where I have to pilot hole or, or drill out a frame. Um, and everything has to come from the main factory into here, onto this. Uh, and I mainly use that for metal, um, but I can now move that out there. Uh, I can even put this in the back of the old van and run it from a generator if I need to. So I've got a portable drill press, which is uh, going to be a really handy and useful addition. So, very happy with that. That's... Um, very nice, and as part of the trade, um, oh, as part of the trade, part of the trade, I get um, a dozen uh, homegrown organic, not battery eggs, my favourite kind. And then we've got this, and um, we've also got, as part of the same deal, a light fitting. Without doubt, one of the nicest light fittings that I own, and I have plenty of old ones, and I think I'm going to replace that with, uh, as you can see, I'm bulb short everywhere, um, replace that with one of the old ones and put that one inside and put this one outside. So um, I think now it's time to get this uh, up onto the bench and work our way into that. I've got it up on the bench now. Yes, I've cleaned the bench partially. We're going to have a look what we're... Oh, that looks too good. It's got more milk in it than the Milky Bar Kid. Okay. So I think the first thing is to check out the carburetor because you can bet that's been sat for a long time with nasty stuff in it. Let me check for spark. And you've got two options. You just stick your finger in there and pull the handle or take the spark plug out. And I'm, I'm tending to me taking the spark plug out and the carburetor is underneath there so i'll take i think we'll take this off check for spark make sure we got fuel flow and then uh, see if it can run first whilst these look really bad i have to say they're not brittle which is a bit unusual i don't know why they've gone that color and, uh, yeah let's make a start and get into it Yeah, that's not good. Do we have an on off switch? Perhaps I should put my glasses on. Yeah, well, that's off, so we should. Some kind of ah, oh, yeah. Nice spark. Well, see what we've got here then. 
Hmm. Well, that's not very good, is it? Yeah, look at that. Right, I'm not sure if I want to go to all the work of taking that off straight away. So I think to start with, we're just gonna give it a dose of this. Oh, that's not looking good. Too bad. Okay. Doesn't look too bad at all. We don't want to stick any more stuff in that. Right, so we clean the plug up. Bit of thousand grit, rejuvenation paper. And that'll bring the plug right back around. Right, we've got a, a little uh, there. Stick that in there. Right, shove some of this green stuff in there like that. And that'll give it a bit of lubrication. All right. Still doesn't fill up very well, but I'm kind of relying on the fact that it's got a strong spark. I'd like to have seen that filter a bit fuller than that. Anyway, we should have enough to Oof. enough to make it work. Right, well, is that a fuel leak? Because it looks like one to me. So I've just sprayed a bit of WD-40 on there and I've noticed there's nuts missing. So I suppose really we should put some grease in here and see if we can find some nuts and washers for that. Okay, we'll see uh, if she'll bark off.
I've only got two, two grease nipples on this. Seems like a good place just to, to try it out. Well, there it is, another old piece of machinery saved. Not a bad day, a few trades, a few things fixed. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, you know the drill. I'd like to grow the channel. Thanks very much. I'll catch you on the next one. Well, it's a bit, um, <coughs> it's a bit chocolate teapot. Uh, it does the job. I think if you had a small patch of, uh, let's grab the camera, a small patch of grass or something where you just needed to knock it down a couple of times a year like this, too rough for the lawnmower, it would be ideal. It's a bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not man enough. Twee, Christmas cracker, Amazon. It's a bit Amazon. Wish, it's a bit wish. It's not manly, but it will do the job. Right, so uh, yeah, it does it. It's a bit, uh, what's the word? Uh, it's not a still, if you know what I'm saying. Chocolate teapot, Christmas cracker, it would do the job. It would do the job. It's it's not man enough for me. I I need more power. I need it. Anyway, there we are. Not a bad exchange trade for the day. Thanks for watching. See you on the next job. But anyway, not a bad day. Thanks for watching. If you like what you're watching, it'd really help me out if you like, subscribe, share. You know, you know the drill. That kind of stuff. I'd like to grow the channel more. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next one. So if you like what you're watching, so that's it for today. But uh, if you like what you're watching and uh, I want to grow the channel, no. so that's it for today. Oh, fuck off. So that's it for today. Uh, not a bad day, good trade. Didn't earn any money today, or yesterday, but not a bad trade. I've got some extra little bits and pieces, little bits and pieces. Fuck off! Ah! So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next job.
Am I bot side? So there we are. A couple of nice little talks for today. Not a bad trade. Uh, oh, look up. So there we go. A couple of nice little tools today. Add to the collection of growing tools. Um, I'd like to grow the channel some more. So if you uh, like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, like, share. You know the drill by now. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Ah, fucking crap. Fuck off. So there we are. Another old piece of machinery kind of saved. Not a bad day, really. A couple of trades. Fixed a few things. Uh, it's what it is. If you like what you see, uh, it really helped me out. If you like and subscribe to the videos, I want to grow the channel and uh, I'd like to... Uh, I mean, what is that now? I don't know how many outs I've got to do.